Hello my crafty friends, I'm back here with the foiling tool and I'm going to be using today the fine quill tool and I'm going to attempt to emboss, or not emboss, to foil the fuchsia file that I created and because it is a fine line I'm going to try doing it with the fine line adapter so I'm just getting the, I've not used the fine one yet, so I'm just going with that for now and we'll see how we get on. So as we did last time, I'm going to att attach the brother unit to that, put it into my machine. Just got to be careful so I don't upset my camera. And once that's in, and I have treated myself to a new little gizmo so that I'm not reliant on my laptop for power i've got myself a little 10,000, i think it's milliamps or something power supply battery external should be fully charged and we should be good to go i think it was 12.99 on amazon delivered so i thought compared to the price of the other ones that they were offering for the even with the cheaper one that they were offering, which was a much lower number here, my lights come on and it's heating up. So all I need to do is put the little metal guard underneath that while it's heating. Okay, so that takes round about five minutes. So whilst that's heating up, and I'm just going to pop that to the side of my machine, whilst that's heating up, I'm going to try to prepare my card on my sheet. So I'm going to get myself a piece, a piece of card and for this one I'm going to be using a piece of cream coloured cardstock. Um, it's nothing special, it's just a reasonable weight cream card and I'm going to attach it first of all to my mat and if you notice I've, what I've got is a Cricut mat on top of my brother mat which is my way of getting round the ridiculously poor bait blades that brother offer us. So now obviously brother wouldn't sanction doing this. So I'm not saying that you should do it. or I'm not trying to give anyone any advice, but I know our crafts often take quite a bit of money to for us to be spending and if we can cut back a little like on the power supply or we can cut back a little bit on having to keep replacing our mats and it's not detrimental to the machine it doesn't bother me however like i say that's my personal choice and i'm not expecting anybody to do any different now i think this is five inch foil isn't it and my shape's about six so see that might do it is it about six or is it five mm, not sure i'm gonna just have to measure the shape just one minute one two three four five six yeah it's about six and i think did we say this was six or five inches wide i can't remember now six Right, so we might just about be able to do this. Just going to move that up there and just double check to make sure if it's over six or not. Might just be a tad over six, you know. So maybe I should go this way. Just trying to conserve the foil. But I don't want it to go wrong just because I've been trying to be ninja with the foil. You don't seem to have my, oh, it's got a pair of scissors here. So I'm going to cut the foil as carefully as I can. Now I had a bit of a problem cutting the foil last time, but I think it was because I got a little bit excitable because it was the first time of trying. This is only the second time, but I'm trying to keep it more or less as if I can in shot this time. So this is going to go on here and I'm going to have it a little bit down from the edge. 
and see how we get on with this because I need to leave space to attach the tape so we'll get the tape out now I had a bit of a problem with the tape as well because it all went a bit uh, just pulled off in like a thin strip rather than a thick full strip and again I think that was me rather than the tape just getting a little bit over excited about the prospect of doing my first foil so we'll see if we can correct this tape now because obviously again this is something that we're going to have to replace as we run out so I'm just going to try oh it's terrible this tape does not want to pull off in one piece no matter what we do that's another one that's just gone funny I'll try pulling it a little bit slow see if that helps but I literally I'm trying my best to just pull it off if you can see in one piece and it's just literally keeps dividing and it's not really playing the game it's not right we've got it to a full bit there so let's cut this off and let's see if we can't just carefully peel it try not to see it's going again there and I'm not doing anything really untoward to make it warrant doing that but I'm just gonna ease it off gently get my scissors and cut it see if that helps it's very tricky because it's very wants to roll up on itself so I'm just gonna tack this down here trying not to get any bubbles in the foil trying to get it as flat as I can so that's one down just going to trim that little bit off where it just wanted to undo for us and we'll pull off another piece and again I'll try my best not to let it ah that seems a bit better so I'm going to cut it most of the way and just tear the rest so that I can keep hold of now I'm trying to oh really just this is the part that I found most difficult last time getting it on that looks better that looks like it's on now and it's quite taut and straight so again let the weight of the roll take it down we'll stick this across the top like so and then we're just another piece down here and then we can go for it so I've already got my file loaded onto my machine and it was this part of the video I think last time that didn't actually come onto the scan and cut if you will. So hopefully you can see that now it's got tight stuck down to my mat and we're good to go. So I'm going to load it in now like so. Okay. I'm then just going to need to move this so I can do a background scan carefully. Saying okay. So let's scan. Hopefully we're not catching anything at the back. Sorry about my big head. didn't like the sound of that so I've just lifted my card and what's happened there is it was just the thing getting knocked out of the way so I'm just going to position my file onto the foil say okay and draw and let's go So remember this is the fuchsia file that I did myself. Started doing it now. We'll see what it looks like in a few minutes. So hopefully you can see that file in now. Okay. I'll carry on towards the end. Just... Okay crafty friends, so we're back and we've finished foiling. But I don't want to move the actual design 
off the mat as it were because I am hoping to cut it while it's still stuck down hoping that that is obviously providing it's done the job we're expecting it to have done which I hope we have so I'm trying to carefully now remove the tape without tearing the, the foil so I'm just going gently just tearing gently and I'm hardly pulling at all I'm just pulling really really carefully and I'm just going to remove this tape and I think if you remove it carefully it will do for another project okay so it's definitely worth your while to try to get it off without damaging the tape and I'm trying to do it without damaging the foil so I'm just going to unplug the quill which is a struggle at the minute because I've got something resting on the whoops so I'll just pop that off to one side to cool down just turn my power source off I'm just going to leave that to cool down on um, I'll put it on the box and then I don't want to burn anything although I don't think it will because it's not on the actual metal part that's touching anything so I really want to be careful because I genuinely do not really want to pull this card up I'm trying to keep the card sucked down if you will oh but it looks like it's done an amazing job of foiling this so I don't know if you can see but it has actually done a really really good job so I'm just going to pop my knife back in now so I'm just bear with I'm going to do the cutting file element now and then we'll get it out and you can have a better look at it so I'm going to cut now hopefully oh my cut file's not there oh no what did I do with my cutting file all right so let's just bring it in again and see if I can line it up manually which is going to be no mean feat on the machine I thought I'd saved the outline as well as the foiled it image well the draw file if you will so you can see it's done a lovely job of foiling that I don't I don't know if you can get all the detail I did that with the fine tip right so let's just see if we can sort this out just one minute so there's my outline so let's get rid of these and let's see if we can't that's one I need so let's just select everything else if we can and say okay let's get rid of that and stretch them okay Delete. okay so i'm having to go along and delete everything that's not needed so that one delete 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 <laughs> uh delete yes i'm just getting a little bit ahead of myself delete Right, so we've now got the cut file. So I'm going to scan the background again. So just bear with while I just move the machine again, just so that I can do that without messing with the back of the machine. And hopefully I'll be able to see the scanned image on my mat and place the cut file round it. I must, when I was deleting the other parts of the file, I must have um, deleted the cutting image as well which I didn't really intend to do. So this is going to be fun now, trying to get this to line up on the machine itself. So I, at least I can see the image. So I'm going to zoom right in and see what I can get on. I'll try and get it as good as I can. Zoom right into 400 and see if that helps. So I'm just going to scroll down now and have a look at that. It would do to go just a little bit. wants to go up a little bit let's have a look at that now I think it just could do to go up one and to the left one let's have a look at that now oh, so I'm just zooming in so just bear with I might edit this part out if I get a chance uh, no it does need to come this way a little bit might not be perfect this but this is that would be my error not the machine 
I'm trying to manoeuvre the file. Right, I'm going to call that good. Say okay. So it might not be perfect. I've lined it up best I can. I did intend leaving this actually image on the machine. So it's not really the machine's fault. That's mine. So let's cut it now. And I'm going to leave it cutting. Try and keep that going down. So I might have to go around this twice because it is quite a, quite a thick finish card. Hopefully, if we need to do another pass if it doesn't go all the way through. We'll check it before we do another one. It just saves a lot of fussy cutting that I didn't really feel up to doing. So, and then we hopefully, if it's, when it's cut through, I'll be able to give you a clearer view of the actual filing. So ignoring any light sort of off, maybe being slightly off with the cutting max in that's my error, not lining it up correctly and doing it before it's finished. So it's nearly finished cutting. So let's just see if it's gone all the way through and it has. So now you can see that we've got that cut image. So I'm gonna unload the mat, just get that out of the way. Ooh. Butter fingers today, so I'm going to carefully raise this up using my spatula so I don't want to damage the bits where it's cut out the detail, which I did show you on the video how to do that. Now, if that's picking that up, that has come out absolutely beautiful. It really and truly is. It's done a way, way, way better job than I even hoped for. And I've not done a bad job of lining it up. We've got the white out, the cream outline on that. But I'm hoping that you can see on that. I don't know whether you can. I'll try and stand up and see what it is you can see. Whether you're getting how well that has actually foiled. Okay. You can see it's not skipped anything. It's got all the detail is there. It's just beautiful. I can't fault it. It's absolutely stunning. Um... I am really impressed with this tool. So that's the fine tip. And I chose the fine tip, if you can see on the file, because there's lots of really tiny details. And even these little tiny dots, I don't know if you can get them, have actually foiled. It's so pretty. And that's in the rose gold. So I'm thinking this was definitely money well spent. If you're interested in this file, it comes with a... Um, a, de a decorated plate if you will that it fits into it as attached to the frame so that you can put something behind if you wanted to but because it's my intention to have this weeping down onto a sentiment for my mother for tomorrow for her birth not my mother my mother-in-law my husband's mother um for her birthday which is tomorrow and i couldn't be happier how that's actually come out so spot on I hope you've enjoyed watching that. So I will show you the finished card. I'm going to do some more foiling and I'll see you um, later. I'm showing you the finished card and the results and I'll talk you through what I did. All right, so this is first part. And remember, if you are interested in this file, it is available on my YouTube channel showing you how to make this from scratch and all the parts that go with, if you're interested. And also... If you wanted to just, you didn't feel, you know, you perhaps your skill, skills didn't quite go to actually this kind of level of, of, but I think you could still do it, even if you're quite new to the Canvas software. Um, if you follow it step by step, I'm positive you'd be able to do it. But if you didn't want to bother for whatever reason, this file is available for free download over on my blog at beverly10.blogspot on um, the internet and if you do go on there and download the file please can I encourage you to follow my blog because it does help pr promote the blog and promote my channel not for any monetary gain but just so that people reach us that have got scan and cuts and uh, get the opportunity that you're getting to have a go at this sort of level of craft if you will and if they've got especially if they've now got the cutting sorry the foiling tool the quill tool then it's absolutely brilliant. And I can definitely recommend um, the little gizmo that I've got. I even like the colour. It's like I say, a little power supply, if you will. I charged it up yesterday and it's just worked a treat. 
and it was literally i think 12.99 delivered from amazon so i thought well 12 month guarantee for 12.99 sounds more like the money so and we're wanting to pay than say nearly 30 pounds which is like another quilling one of the individual quills if you will now i've had a few people asking which quill would i recommend um if you could only afford one well it really does depend on what you're going to be using it for now if you're going to do a lot of detail work like this then obviously i'd say go for the narrow the the fine tip however if you're more likely to be doing sentiments and just general sort of um foiling then that i'd go definitely the medium thing i'm sure a lot of my foiling will be using the medium but also the files that i create myself that i want to foil obviously i want to use the fine now for the fat one the thick tool if you will i think that'll be good if you need to do a lot of filling in like a fill area which is what i'm going to need to do on my next part of this card because it's a a sort of shape that I want to foil around the edges and put the greeting in the middle and I will show you on the finished card and how it worked out but I'm not going to film that part because it's like obviously got quite long this video anyway but I will talk you through the finished card at the end so like I said if you have liked the video please like share and subscribe I know that I perhaps won't be up to everybody's cup of tea or standard I do try my best I am up here on my own I'm sort of filming and trying to edit best i can my own videos but time sometimes gets away from me and i haven't got as much time to spend on editing as i'd actually like to do because i do have a full-time job and I'm, i am just recently get recovering from quite a nasty illness so um i hope you've liked it if you have please like share subscribe let your friends know where i am and please leave your comments in the box below things that you'd like to see all right thanks for watching i'll see you next time bye Hello my crafty friends, it's Beverly here over at Crafting Chaos and I'm here showing you the finished card. So this is the um, design that I created on Canvas Workspace, um, the Fuchsia design which is available like I said on my blog and also how to create the file is on YouTube. I've now watercoloured just to give it a little bit of a pop of colour. And I also got it to do this shape and got it to foil around the edges and foil the writing. And I've just put a hint of the watercolour in the greeting as well. I've stacked up three um, of letters in black and I've heat, heat embossed them with um, the ultra thick embossing enamel. Okay, so that's that done and then i've just embellished with some pearls because i felt that the background was a little bit pale but i needed something that was going to really make the image stand out and try pattern paper this is what i was thinking of originally but when i got it underneath it seemed a bit too busy so i decided to go with a piece of paper from i don't know echo park so and that's the card so it's been completed. I've got this flat. This popped up on form dimensionals. I've got little gold sequins with little white pearl, cream, well, creamy pearls stuck in the middle. And then I've got a selection of white and pink and almost sort of lavender coloured mini pearls scattered about the design. And finally, to finish it off as I do with my designs, I've got my um, handcrafted by. And my symbol for one of my makes is my little ladybird. If it works on the front, I put it on the front. If it doesn't, I put it on the stamp with my name on at the back. So there we are. That's a handcrafted by Beverly Design. All ready for my mother-in-law's birthday tomorrow. So that's the finished card. I don't know how well you're seeing how well that actually has foiled, but it's done it beautifully with the fine i used the medium tip to do this part and then obviously i got it to cut it out and then cut out the inner and pop the inner up and i've got this double pad so that's today's card completed i hope you've enjoyed watching and i hope you've enjoyed seeing what your um, foil quilt is actually capable of if you've liked the video remember like share and subscribe and i'll see you next time thanks for watching bye